I do host quite a lot of corporate events uh, and I, I do very much enjoy it. It's also nice for me just simply to get out of the house. Uh, to me, Peterborough on a Wednesday evening is... <laughs> And absolutely, I love Peter, but Peterborough. Say what you like about Peterborough. You come for the good transport connections, and you stay for the good transport connections, don't you? It's a, it's a, no. I, I've had many happy evenings in Peterborough, and it's. I, I am staying in a hotel tonight. We've got anyone else who's staying over? I know, a little bit exciting, isn't it? A little bit exciting. I'm thrilled. I have two small children at home, so I don't get out much. Uh, I say small children, actually. Sorry, I should qualify that. You're young children. They're three and five years old. I, I make that distinction because they're not that small because they take after my husband. I'm four foot 11. My husband, Justin, is six foot five. So just to give you a, a sort of mental image of what that's like, in the bedroom, it's like a ventriloquism act that's gone to a very dark place, uh, essentially. <laughs> This Save Every Drop Award is for organisations that have excelled in water management, which is why it's so great to see so many deserving nominations, many of whom were able to quantify the knock-on effect of reducing their water use on carbon, energy and costs. And here to present the award, it's another one of our judges, it's Mark Sait, and Mark is CEO of Save Money Cut Carbon and a great expert on sustainability and corporate social responsibility. He's here already, it's Mark Sait! God bless you. How old are you actually, Stu? I don't know. I'm thinking you might still be in your 20s. Are you still in your 20s? 20 bloody eight. Oh, Bob, get me away from him. It's dangerous. It's exciting for me. As a woman of my... The problem is, though, like now I'm in my 40s. I'll be honest with you. I'm 42, Stu. That's going to shock. I know. Thanks for sounding surprised. Um, he obviously works with a lot of women, doesn't he? You know what to say. But it is, uh, since I've got older, I felt, you know, lovely looking boy like Stu. You know, a few years ago, I would have been properly flirting. Now, I look at Stu and I think, yes, I could teach you things in the bedroom you've never dreamt of, Stu. <laughs> but I just mean like changing his sheets. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. It's the... Turning the Tide Award. This award is for an organisation that has overcome a significant challenge regarding water in the last 12 to 18 months. Here to present the award is another judge with the best name I've ever heard. She is Karma Ockenden, and Karma is a water sector specialist journalist, founder and editor of The Water Report, water policy advisor to the Major Energy Users Council and chair of its water competition group. It's Karma Ockenden! I don't travel as much as I used to before the kids. I do, like, like tonight, when I get a night in a hotel, I'm quite giddy, if I'm honest. Like, people sometimes, people are very sweet. They come up to me after gigs and they say, oh, Lucy, listen, we heard you were staying in a hotel tonight and we just wanted to check you're okay because you must be really missing your kids. Right? <laughs> All the parents in the audience going, yeah, right. So it's, and I always play along. I always go, yeah, it's actually really difficult. If you just bought me another glass of wine, that might dull the pain for a few moments. Uh, but, so, but anyway, I do. I, occasionally I get to stay in hotels and I've become obsessed with TripAdvisor reviews, right? Now, obviously I don't trust them because they're nonsense, but I've become obsessed with collecting the best ones I've found in the course of my travels. And I'll show you what I mean. They're just, the, the ones I like are ones where people say things I'm not sure they entirely meant to say. So, for example, I was doing a gig in Torquay and I was looking on TripAdvisor at the hotels and this review caught my eye. Someone had put on TripAdvisor, our bedroom was directly above the disco and our bed vibrated until three o'clock in the morning. I was inclined to leave immediately but my wife persuaded me to stay. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> 